Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Please like and subscribe and when we get to a thousand subscribers, we're gonna start doing subscriber giveaways. So this video is about all of the new updates, version 2B of all the fuselage parts and all the tail pieces on all of the models, as well as an update to the power pod. Most of the updates in this latest version were to get the fuselage parts and tail surfaces to print faster in Cura. Was playing around with the Perusa slicer, which is also the similar to the Simple slicer. It's a great slicer, but it's still incapable of doing the wing surfaces where uh, three thin walls come together, it wants to leave a little hole. It's kind of a quirk in the way that that slicer works, but the Perusa slicer works fantastic for printing the fuselage parts. The simple round uh, geometry with the other features in it, it did a great job and it did it really fast. I figured out some of the quirks that Cura has when it was slicing the files and how it was it was adding a lot of extra little bits and pieces and increasing the print times dramatically as well as decreasing the print quality. Anyways, all of the fuselage parts, all of the tail options, everything has been updated so that it works and it is as efficient as I can make it right now to print with the Cura Slicer. Some, some other updates. Uh, the been spending a lot of time updating parts for the uh, PowerPod version. Uh, gonna do a series of build and fly videos for each of the PowerPod versions with each of the tails. So there will be a cross tail, a V tail, a T tail, and a cross tail with rudder. Two servo underwing servo tray. Here is the, the new two servo underwing setup. And here's the original one servo underwing. Drive both a rudder and elevator or both rudder vaders on a V-tail. And it is now available. So the V-tail has a nice vent in the back as well as the T-tail. Both of them are vent very well, but the the, the rough gen model was that it had no really easy way to vent the fuselage. Before you could uh, cut slots in it for, for fuse venting, but I made a fuse vent right behind the, uh, the wing in the midsection. And, all right, so we added a nice, nice, nice vent to the, the fuselage. This, this will suck the air through. So not only does the, um, the parts print faster, but I also made some, some adjustments for some better performance, easier building. The typical battery for the power pod is the thousand milliamp hour battery. Uh, and it fits very nicely in this section. This is a typical battery that is used for drones. Well, the drone technology keeps progressing. And well, here is a 2200 milliamp hour battery. It's 26 millimeters wide. Well, it fits in there nicely too. More videos about the power pod and motors and I've been doing motor testing and prop testing and what's the best setup out of these inexpensive motors. So please watch my other videos if you're interested in the power pod mods. 
So hope you guys like the new features and the new faster printing times of the fuselage parts. Let us know what you think uh, in the comments below and happy flying. Power.